Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever it is you are, this of course is Corpus Wyosti, but you can call me Corey. Okay, so I recorded a little bit of the video, and it didn't pop up. Um, so we're going to show you what happened in that video. In that video, we got Blue Streak here, uh, level 1,259, and... We got Swoop version 2.0. I'd like to say thank you to Megan for that one. Megan gave me that. And Megan also loaned me some uh, dye. And I dyed my armor the color I wanted. Black with red light. And I just like literally put this up. Um, yeah. But today I think what we're going to do is, well... <clears throat> We're going to tame, but we've tamed, <laughs> and we've gotten, and we've tamed. Uh, so what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to put a door right here, and we're going to go outside, and we're going to make a uh, greenhouse somewhere right over here. I'm thinking just level it out all the way across. Um... And don't forget, if you're new and you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to also hit that bell icon so you can be notified anytime I go live or I make a video. Also, there's a like button. Go ahead, hit that like button while you're at it so that you can be uh, supporting me. So, what we're going to do first is make the doorway so we can go here and we're gonna go down to doorways don't worry I'll find it <laughs> you're probably all sitting there shouting it's right there Oop, wrong button Okay, so we'll have to destroy that. That's easy. Just bam. Take it out. Alright, so we need to go inside. I'm going to have to build a ramp for this. Oh, wait a minute. I have a ramp I'm not using. Haha. -ha. Okay, so right here, we want to make the door. So we'll put the door right there. And add a door. There. Now what I'm thinking is, let's see, where's the well? The well is right there. So what I'm thinking is what we'll do is we will, hmm, I think what we're going to do is make a foundation right here and then go from there and only make a totally see-through house for the greenhouse so first we need to make a foundation and we're gonna set that down right no no yep right there all right now can we put another foundation down? That's the question. So let's find out. Now, if we can put another foundation down, I'm going to put another foundation down. If not, then that's okay, because we can start with the see-through stuff. So let's see. Can we put another foundation right there? Nope. Okay, so since we can't put another one down, we're going to go ahead and destroy this. And we're going to do it like that. That way we get some of our stone and thatch and stuff back at least. Ooh. Either either the volcano is going off or a storm is coming. One of the two. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to good lord that's loud <laughs> we're 
we're gonna go ahead and start making uh, the greenhouse so I've got some greenhouse pieces set up already it's like making a cake on a show and we already have a cake pre-made right here in the oven well guess what I've got some pieces pre-made right here in the oven <laughs> So we're going to take and put that down there, put that down there, now we're going to go out as far as we can with these, which is right there, ooh I wonder something, now we can do it underwater as I showed on one episode, but here's the question, can we do it on land? Remember, in the water, you can uh, go underneath a roof and set a foundation. But no, you cannot do that on land. Okay, you know what? That was worth a try. We did some science. Science didn't work out. It's okay. Alright, so, if we're going to make it around this, that means that we're going to need some stone columns. <clears throat> so I got some stone columns as well and we're gonna set those up first off we need to go up here we need to set one right there and we don't want them sticking out so we're gonna do this again that off I don't remember a hundred percent every time what I'm supposed to do when it comes to the columns so I'm kind of just winging it the best I can uh, screw it for now that'll be fine I'll try to fix it later all right so there's that so now we can put some more down. Uh. Oh, and just so you know, coming up will be an episode where you will meet the little cat I keep talking about. Her name is Raven. Uh huh. She's right here beside me right now. Acting like a fool. But yep, I'm going to put a video out to introduce her. It's going to be a real short little blurb thing. And you will get to meet the culprit that moited the terror bird. <laughs> okay, let's put another one down. Right there. And drop that all the way down to the ground. Because it, it has to be touching the ground or it does not work as a foundation. touching the ground? No. I'm going to have to use that last one. There we go. Alright. So, now that you got somewhat of an idea of what we're doing, I'll be back in one moment. I'm going to go ahead and work on it a little bit. I don't want to make you have to sit here and watch me do... Alright, so if you hear some lightning and thundering, I apologize. It's storming really bad in my area. Um, so I put a roof up, and here's the greenhouse. 
in all its glory. Yeah, I know these aren't straight. I understand, you know. I'm not the best at straightening, and I'm hoping that the plants will cover up these because it just it was just taking so long to get it right. So what we need to do now is we need to go and we need to get come here. We need to get some dung beetles. So we're gonna find the pterodon. And what I'm probably going to do <clears throat> there's swoop. Swoop version 2.0. Again, thank you, Megan. Um, what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to grab one with his talons and one in my hand. Which is why I'm a dummy for bringing the, the jolly. Because the jolly is you know, not going to be the best uh, if I'm trying to pick something up. <laughs> I did not even think about it until just now. By the way, I have named dinosaurs. Um, eventually, ooh, lag. Um, so I named him Battle Cat, or her Battle Cat, and eventually I'm gonna try and get her painted all green, and then those bluish teal stripes make them orange, like actual Battle Cat. Of course, the paws can also be green. So it's going to be all green with uh, orange on the stripes there and orange on the stripes there. I don't know the color, so I don't know how to color it. I don't know the color defaults just yet. This I call Triforce. And there's, of course, Blue Streak. And the Jolly. And this is Chesty because... Bulldog, Bulldog, and a Bulldog that I love is the Marine Corps Bulldog named Chesty after Chesty Puller. And of course, Talon. What's up, Talon? So, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to fly out into the wilderness, out into the desert, and I'm going to take some rotten meat with me. I think you got some spoiled meat, don't you? Yep, sure do. Take some spoiled meat, put it there. Alright, and I will see you guys as soon as I start finding them in the desert. Alright, so here we are in the desert. And we're looking for some dung beetles. Now I'm going to get more than two, but for now, um, I'm going to get two. See, I don't have an RG at the moment, so I can't carry the one in the claw one in the beak and in one of my hand thing so right now all we can do is just carry one in my hand and one in his claws in swoops claws so we have to find a dung beetle those are not dung beetles those are not dung beetles those are not dung beetles Wow. When you want something, that's when you can never find it. Because I guarantee you, if I was out here looking for anything but a dung beetle, I would have found it long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got around here. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Mm, nope. Uh... But I tell you what, this is real fun. Well, while we're doing this, let me just, while we're looking for it, let me tell you guys that, uh, yeah, it's been raining a lot in my neighborhood lately, or in my area. Uh, yesterday, I had my windows open because it was nice and cool out when the clouds were over. But as soon as that rain started, for some reason, the wind blew it this way. It came in the window, and I was like, oh, Lord, my computer stuff. So I was like quickly trying to shut the windows because my computer is right next to the window. Oh, we found one. Oh, we found two. Okay, so 
see if we can do this without bug repellent. Yes. And we're just going to name a dung beetle because I don't care. So there's one. And levels don't matter because all they're doing is just going to make us fertilizer anyway. Okay, so we got two. So I'll pick you up. And then I'll get on Swoop. And Swoop will pick you up. Swoop will pick you up. Swoop will pick... Are you telling me a pterodon cannot pick up a dumb beetle? What? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I have to. Uh. Dang it! Are you kidding me? I always thought a pterodon could pick up a dung beetle. Apparently, I've always been wrong. Hmm. Okay, so uh, we're gonna wait for the lag. But uh, I think what we're gonna do is take this dung beetle. That appeared out of nowhere. We're gonna stick this dung beetle. Mm, right there. We're gonna stick you right here. So you wait here. That way, it's in a prominent area where I'm gonna recognize it and remember where it is when I get back. What's this? Tribe of, I can't pronounce that, but I found it. Your dino is right out here in the desert. <laughs> uh, now I gotta remember where that other one was. Ah, uh -huh. nope, that ain't him. I don't think it was this far out. Because I could clearly see that pretty good. Hmm. There we go. Alright, and I found another dung. Yeah, you notice now that I'm looking for them, I'm finding a lot of them. So what we'll do is take these guys back. We'll take this one back, and we'll get a uh, talent. Because Talon will probably be able to uh, carry a dung beetle. And we're going to test that theory when we get back as well before we try to tame a, a second one to carry back with us. So I'll be back as soon as I get home. And we're back in the darkness where it's all stealthy like. And we're going to test to see if the griffin can actually pick up a dung beetle. Because as we've already seen, pterodons can't. <laughs> so we're going to move in slow, slow. Are you kidding me? Please tell me it's just because I was too high. Please tell me it's just because I missed. Please tell me I just missed again and I was too high. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So the only things I know of that can pick those up are wyverns, RGs, and quetzals. Hey, guess what I don't have? An RG, a wyvern, or a quetzal. <laughs> Alright. So we got him and we're going to fly back. This is the first time I've ever had a griffin, so yeah, I'm having fun. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, don't forget, um, we're also going to have a QA and a um, with the owner of this server. Um, some of you have given me some questions to ask, and I'm going to be asking them. And that's going to be interesting. 
Now what I'm thinking is eventually on that greenhouse, what I might do one day is make a second floor and fill it up with dung beetles, um, cause that'll be pretty good, pretty helpful. Uh, cause then all we'll have to do is go upstairs, collect the fertilizer from the dung beetles, go back downstairs and put them in the crop plots. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is just keep it as a one story. Keep the dung beetles in there with the plants and see how that works out. See how that works out so that we can get things going right. Because the one thing you don't want to do is make something you don't have to make. Like, I don't have to have a second floor, then I'm not going to have a second floor. If I have to make a second floor, then yeah, of course I'm going to make a second floor. Whee! Flying through the trees. Uh. Alright, so I will see you guys when I get back. Alright, so we got a lot of things done today. We uh, built ourselves a greenhouse and a little passageway from the greenhouse to the regular house. And we got a couple dung beetles. And I showed you off the horse and the new Swoop version 2.0. Swoop, I still feel like is out there, but um, because of the fact that the Terror Bird, when it died, did not give me a death note in the logs, I'm thinking that Swoop may have died, and it didn't give me a log as well for the same, I don't know, reason. Uh, so... Thank you, Megan, for the uh, for the swoop and for some of those dyes that you loaned me so that I could make my armor look super awesome and super cute. Uh, so, next time we're going to try and get the uh, owner of the revamped Dark servers to have a little conversation with us. I got some Q&As from people and we're going to Q&A him. We're going to Q him and A him real good. So I'm looking at you, mister. Let me zoom in. Looking at you. We want to Q and A you. And we're going to Q and A you deeply. Okay, that wasn't inappropriate at all. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, of course, this is Corey Biswayasi, but you can Corey, call me Corey. Feel free to share these videos anywhere you want. Spread the word about the channel. Spread the word about the shows. Don't forget, we also have some Seven Days to Die coming up. We have some uh, Battlefield Five going to be happening when that starts up. We're going to have some Red Dead Redemption 2 when that comes out. So we've got lots, lots on the board, lots coming up. And don't forget, uh, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell. And like any videos and support this channel all you want. Feel free to go to the Patreon site, which is down in the description. As well as the Facebook for Revamp Dark. But the Patreon is mine. And it helps to donate money towards me. Because I don't, I'm not getting paid like most YouTubers. I'm not that popular yet. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, Mike and later days.